thank you once again for joining Kenny Cop TV. I wish you a happy new month. We apologize for not being with you for the past previous weeks because there were some things that we were handling. Now we welcome you to Kenny Cop TV. Always great to have you watching us and sharing for others to also enjoy. As you are aware, we are working on a project called Do Not Lose Hope in Pig Farming. And this is our new episode, which is talking about what the animals are going to eat to recover and gain weight after they have not been able to feed well or they didn't grow well as you were expecting. Please stay tuned with us. Kindly um, like, subscribe and share for others to also um, benefit. You may not know who you are helping as you are sharing this video. Comments are always welcome in the comment sessions. But before we begin today's um, show, remember that Kenny Cop TV is being sponsored by um, Kenny Cop Baba Shop, which is part of the Kenny Cop Enterprise. Now, Kenny Cop Baba Shop says that this festive season, you come and get your hair cut and then they will dye it for you for free all throughout the whole festive season. So please, you are always welcome. And I'm also glad to introduce you to our new sponsors, which we are showing in the video. Thank you for joining us in. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and then we hope you are going to enjoy the show as you are going to see what the animals eat that will make them grow very fast. And this is also economical because we have done a lot of things and then brought the cost very down, and you are going to really enjoy it. So stay tuned and be with us, watch to the end, and then enjoy our latest sponsor too. And we are glad to introduce to you Chubby Spices, our new sponsor. Contact them on the screen. They provide only natural spices. Name the type of spice that you want and you are going to get it. Contact them on the number on the screen and then you are going to get it. We do nationwide delivery regardless where you are. Keep on supporting us. Thank you. Eh, Mia, Nana Jenny Watson, Michelle Kelkop TV. Keep watching Kelkop TV. Oh, Kelkop TV, the Osha, a boy. I'm almost super brave. To be on, she keep watching Kelkop TV. Be the last. I'm sure she will be a. I'm sure she will be a Kelkop TV. Be the last. So as we rightly said, that. The animals need to eat very good food for them to grow. This is the feed that I prepare for my animals. I prepare myself and it has been working so good to the extent that I have customers who also request for me. And I would like to also say a very big thank you to my own very good brother, um, Kwabna Kakra. You have been so much supportive to me. Any decision that I take for you on your farm, you are always ready to um, receive it. And I'm glad that we are doing this project together very soon we are all going to enjoy the fruit of our labor so let, as we continue this is what i feed my animals with as you can see it consists of maize we have cassava we have fish we have soya beans we have oyster shells we have um premix from the layer layer premix we have my uh, micro chem which fights against any toxins in the feed and then we have all the necessary ingredients we prepare it as if it is from the factory so we gather the maize dry them and then we mix the feed with the machine so this is already prepared feed for the animals which consists of what i said earlier on maize bit of cassava bit of millet then we have fish we have soya we have oyster shells we have um, premix we also have micro chem all mixed with it and then a bit of dicalcium also is in the feed so yeah you give it to them and they are going to grow very well and it's not only that that i give to the animals now this is the basic one that i'm going i have prepared i'm going to add um pumpkin oil cake to it and then add a bit of watermelon and also add pito leftover which is all very good for the animals i'm using pito leftover because i do not have the access to get the malt from guinness i hope that my my brother ford you are going to help me to get malt very soon and then i'll be using the malt which is very very vital for the animals so i prepare this feed myself and give it to the animals and it is really really good and it really works like magic 
very soon i'll be showing you the animals we compare from episode one and then we compare it with after six seven weeks maximum eight weeks how the animals have gained weight and you will be marveled about this whole thing so this feed particularly is for the grown-ups those who are from six months going they are going to eat this feed so this is the basic we will be adding the um palm kernel cake to it watermelon and then a pito and i will let you see the final result after i made the feed keep on watching keep on sharing i love you all and then let's see how the feed is going to look like after we are done with the mixing thank you we will always continue to thank you for being part of this wonderful project and my wonderful community like i said earlier on i have the feed that i have mixed already and i'm about to add the pumpkin oat cake which is also called copra cake i'm going to mix it with the feed and then afterwards i will add my pito and then i'll add my watermelon to it and this is strictly for the grown-ups only they are going to eat these ones i will show you the feed that i give to the piglets whom um, we've just weaned and then are uh, growing up but i'm doing all this because we are assuming that our animals didn't grow well and how are we going to pick them up so we're giving them quality food for them to pick up and i trust the process that is going to work which i know that it is working already so let's stay put together and continue enjoying the show i'm always grateful for you being part of it keep on watching to the end and you are going to be blessed thank you yeah so here we go the pito is ready to be mixed with the feed in general and then after that i will add a little bit of the watermelon please the project is do not lose hope in pig farming we don't have to lose hope because imagine you have this whole big structure there and then things didn't go well as you planned fair enough it's very painful it's heartbreaking it's disheartening but are you going to lose all these projects or you are going to sit back to re-strategize and come back let me use myself as an example last year in the month of april and may 2021 i lost all animals in my farm all because i went to dig a well of water for the animals myself and unfortunately the water got contaminated and they all had lung problems and when it happened within a month or so i had lost 80 big animals the little ones i don't add to that the, the, the number so two months later i came back and now as i speak with you my target was to have 150 animals at the end of this year and we are on course because i'm expecting three productions by the end of this year and these three productions are going to give me the number that i want and i'll come back to testify to you that i have the 150 animals that i'm looking forward to so please we don't have to lose hope it's very painful like i said earlier on and it's happening but life must go on once we have life we can still fight and then we know that there is light at the end of the tunnel so do not lose hope and then let us also be very very punctual in our farm absentee farming is very bad if you are not there the workers do what they like and then it affects the growth and then the progress of your farm so right now i have mixed the pkc or palm kernel cake or the copra cake with the feed and i'm now about to add the pito right after the pito i'll add the watermelon and remember this feed is for the mothers and the grown-ups only it's for all only for those animals that are going to eat so thank you keep on being with us kindly subscribe like and share our channel for others to also enjoy thank you hi keep watching kenny cop tv kenny cop tv the best so the final ingredient in the feed is being ready you see how patiently i have taken my time to cut the watermelon but i'm going to mix it with the whole feed now the water in the watermelon is going to give the food different flavor and also the fruit itself as we know fruits provide vitamins to the body so the animals are going to get protein vitamins carbohydrates all the essential things that they need for them to grow and that is how we do it so like i'm i keep on advising in order not to run completely at a loss do not lose hope come back sit down you can contact us on the numbers on the screen or you can contact me on my email i'm ready to support you 
because I love people entering or venturing into a Greek industry. So please, let us all put ourselves together, fight one common goal in making the agriculture uh, agriculture a very very lucrative one for people. I understand cost of production is high, so when you come to see such a such things, it's really disheartening. But please, like I said earlier on. Are you going to lose the whole property or you are going to do something small small about it and then regain what you lost so this is the feed now i'm going to mix all together and then after that i will take you to see um, the feed that i prepare for the little ones also and i will give you a very glimpse of one of the animals that was the reason why i started this project called do not lose hope in pig farming Thank you for staying with us. Continue to subscribe. If this is your first time of being here, like and share for others to also join. It has really been a very great pleasure for me to have you around me watching my show and then enjoying it. I've been getting a lot of calls. I've been getting a lot of messages from people and I appreciate everybody. I cannot stand here enough to mention names, but I believe that at the end of the year, which is my last video that I'm going to make for 2022, I'm going to be mentioning names and then thanking whoever, whoever has had an impact in this whole project. And I really appreciate you all for the love that you have been showing me. You have been really immense. So keep on watching and, and enjoying it. You know, the feed is almost ready. We have the males, the, the, the maize, the cassava, the millet being the basic carbohydrates that we had. We also have, um, protein like fish soya beans granite and then the pkc or pumpkin or cake and then we also have other essential vitamins like the premix we have watermelon which is natural we also have um, things that are fighting against toxins in the feed like microtoxins or uh, microchem in the feed and we also have um calcium providing um thing like the oyster shells we also have potassium like calcium so enjoy the show i love you all. so finally the feed for the grown-ups or the adults are ready you see that everything has been mixed watermelon whatever whatever you need to see is in the feed as i started with the process of mixing the feed now let me take you to the um piglets their feet very very interesting now um, with this when i started the project i had a very good deal from a woman called mrs hager and i i honestly i say thank you for the support that you have given me so she provided me with some grower feed at a very good um price this is um, poultry grower feed itself that's the basic that i give them i didn't just leave it like that after i got the grower feed i went to add a bit of soya fish and then granite to make the protein more so that the animals can grow well and now i also have my local pkc the pumpkin oil cake that i added to the adults you know but with this one i'm not going to put any pito i'm not going to put any watermelon but i'm going to add rice rice from kitchen waste pure rice i'm going to add it to it and mix it for the animals and they are going to really enjoy it right the rice will give them flavor the rice will give them everything that they need plus the food itself so i take my time to prepare the feed for them so that when they eat they enjoy and aside them enjoying it they also gain enough and um, appreciable weight for it because this job that we are doing we are working with weight so the better weight you get for the animals in the shortest possible time which i'm not saying just provide the weight but also weight with quality meat in the shortest possible time the more enjoyable the farming business become for you and i know that as you keep on watching you are going to enjoy it and you are going to also see the need why you should give your animals quality feed and then also you know have a good input in it by not being an absentee farmer and not losing hope continue to like share and then keep up with the um, with being part of our community your comments are always welcome our number is on the screen our email account is on the screen you can follow us on any of the social media apart from twitter we are on instagram we are on facebook with the name kenny cobb so let us meet 
I'm glad and I'm happy that you are going to contact me and I will be there for you to support you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Keep on enjoying. Until we meet in our next episode, I say thank you once again for watching Kenicop TV. And on that note, I am making this announcement that on the 18th of December, I'm having a Thanksgiving pork barbecue and cocktail at Kenicop Barber Shop. This is to say very big thank you to my creator and the ancestors and almighty God for what they have done for me over the past couple years. When I lost all the animals, I came back, I didn't lose hope. I've had enough animals also and there have been a lot of ups and downs. But all in all, I'm still alive and I'm happy in my life. So I want to say a very big thank you to everybody who has been part of it. Let us all come together to celebrate this together in my house at the barbering shop let's meet on the 18th of december 4 p.m let's chill until your mama calls you until then i say see you soon hey there it's your boy editing to the aka this month to the aka db in the building and you're keeping locked on kenny cup tv can you like subscribe and share don't forget to leave a comment as to know what's going on with you and you know what keep on learning as we all learning too Peace, fam.